BYU starting safety, Micah Hanneman. And believe it or not, Micah, I, I want to start off with a baseball question. How cool was it to see Big Brother hit his first major league home run this past weekend with the Mariners? Yeah, actually, I was I was over there this weekend. So our whole family was over there. It's pretty cool being able to. It was in uh, Anaheim playing the Angels. So, yeah, I'm so so happy for him. You know, he's living living his dream, being able to hit a home run in one of their last games this season. So, What was that like to be able to witness that in person and be able to celebrate with him after? It's kind of surreal, you know, because when we were little kids, the Mariners was our favorite team, you know, with Ken Griffey, Alex Rodriguez and them. And then being there, seeing him as a Mariner, you know, and then hitting a home run, it's, it's kind of surreal. And after the game, you know, it's just all love with, just with the family, you know. It's a good accomplishment for him. How often do you talk with him? And, and not necessarily about sports or what's going on with the football team, but just as a brother, how often do you guys communicate with each other? And what does that mean to you? Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we communicate a decent amount. You know, during both of our seasons, it's hard to – I mean, it's not hard, but you just don't think about it as much because you figure, oh, they're just doing the same thing every day. They're, they're fine. But, you know, we've been communicating more. He's got, he's got his kid, my first nephew, so just FaceTiming him, Snapchats, stuff like that. But he's – He's he's an awesome older brother, setting a good example, and we've we've been close. All of us are close, so talk to each other a lot. We know we know what's up with each other. So, so did he? Since you were with him when he hit his home run, uh, did he have anything to say about your pick six against Utah State? Yeah, yeah, that's the first thing that because so I flew out there right before the game, before the, before he hit his home run, and I was barely barely made it in time. So the very first time I seen him, that's the first thing he said to me was, hey, nice picks. I was like, hey, nice home run. <laughs> so, yeah, that was cool. So take me through that play, because I know your teammates gave you a little bit of a hard time that it took a couple steps to, to bring that in. But take me through that play and, and just how big that was at the time. Um, so it was just film, film style. I knew that they, they like to throw those screens. And I just told the corner. I was supposed to be back, but I told the corner, you know, if they throw the screen, I'm just going to take a chance because they had just barely scored seven points on us. And... There was kind of not, not that much going on, you know, so luckily the quarterback threw it right to me. And, but, yeah, I did almost miss it. Good thing, good thing I didn't. But. One of the things that Coach Lamb mentioned a few minutes ago when he was talking with the general media was the fact that this team, one of the things as coaches they don't have to worry about is trying to get you guys ready for practice or to turn the page, that you guys do a really good job of doing that on your own. Where does that come from? Um, I feel like it just comes from love of the game. You know, we all we all love playing football, and it sucks losing, obviously, but it's still fun. You know, I had fun on on Friday. We lost, and I'm I'm sick of losing. We've lost too many times this season, but you know, in the end, still having fun and practice is still st you still got to have fun. You still got to bring the energy because that's the only thing. You know, that's the only thing you can do is keep on keep on playing, keep on. Just playing the game of football. <laughs> BYU safety, Micah Hanneman, joining us here on BYU Sports Nation. So now you've got Boise State, another Friday night game. This is a series that a lot of games have been played. The home team has won all of the matchups, I believe, out of the last five. When you think of this matchup with Boise State, what comes to mind? Um, boy, it's always been an exciting game. There's always been a lot of uh, fun plays on defense. And so that's, that's what I'm most excited for. You know, they like to throw the ball up. So I'm I'm hoping that we can we can get some more turnovers this this week as that's me thinking defensively but just overall there's there's a lot of energy a lot of excitement last time we played them at home was one of the most um, intense exciting games that I've been a part of while while I've been here at BYU um, just the whole environment with with everybody so yeah I'm I'm excited. You mentioned the turnovers, and I know that the coaches preach forcing turnovers, and this defense really is designed to create turnovers, yet there haven't been a lot this season. Why do you think that's been? That's a, that's a good question. I, um, the, the teams that we've been playing have, have done a decent job at c controlling the ball. Um, I feel like this this week might be a little bit different with with getting turnovers as we're feeling more comfortable the more more disruption we get from the defensive line the easier it is to to get turnovers and hopefully that happens this week you mentioned the 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 deep ball the big plays that Boise State like to run I, I have to imagine though that especially for somebody in your position in the secondary you guys got to be licking your chops at the opportunities that will be there facing an offense like that oh yeah that's 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 what I'm most excited for this week you know being able to just 
this play, you know, drop drop back and read, reading the quarterback and making plays on the ball. That's that's what's most fun apart the game and other games is more of a grind grinding type of game, but this game is more is going to be more more fun for the DBs and for the people dropping back. So. so with everything that's that's happened up to this point in the season, what would it mean for you guys to get this home win on homecoming against Boise State? I mean, we we need I feel like we need to get this this win sick of losing everybody's sick of losing um no more excuses though you know we're we know that we can perform and we haven't been performing so hopefully coming back home with some with some good fans at, at our own turf against boise we lost with them last year and that motivates me and i know that motivates a lot of other players so micah great stuff good luck on friday thank you